Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 100 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you a few quick tips on using the adjustment brush in Lightroom. Now, I'm sure you know the adjustment brush is the far right tool over here in the tool palette. And you probably know that you could adjust the size of the brush a few different ways. You could, of course, use the slider to change the size of the brush. You could use the bracket keys on your keyboard. The right bracket key makes the brush larger and the left bracket key smaller. Or if you have a PC, you could spin the center wheel of the mouse to adjust the brush size. If you have a Mac, you would just drag your finger across the top of the magic mouse and you will adjust the brush size accordingly. Our first tip has to do with feathering. You could easily adjust the feathering of the brush in a similar manner. Hold the shift key in and spin that center wheel on your PC mouse or drag your finger across the top of your magic mouse and you will increase or decrease the feathering of the brush accordingly. This tip also works with the bracket keys. Hold the shift key in, the right bracket key will increase feathering and the left bracket key will decrease feathering. This tip also works for the spot removal tool as far as feathering is concerned. You could just hold that shift key in and spin the center wheel on your mouse or drag your finger across the top of the magic mouse to adjust the feathering of that tool as well. And the bracket keys also work with that tool. Hold the shift key in and the right bracket key increases feathering, the left bracket key decreases feathering. So that's a little bonus tip. Now, back to our brush tool. If we really want to easily affect the flow of the brush, we could just hit the number keys on our keyboard. Now right now you'll see that flow is at 100. If we hit the one key on our keyboard, flows at 10. The two key, it's at 20. Three is at 30. And so on, all the way to zero, and we're back up to flow of 100. So that's a real easy way to just quickly adjust the flow of the brush. Now, this next tip, you probably know. If, let's say, we do a brush stroke on our image and we want to erase it, we can't click right here for the eraser tool, but a faster, quicker way is to just hold the Alt or Option key in. It's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac. And you'll notice right now the brush has a plus in it. If I hold that Alt or Option key in, you'll see that it becomes a minus and we switched over to the erase brush. So we could come in and quickly erase something we want. So we could go very quickly with the brush tool by using these different shortcuts. And also, if you want to switch between the A and B brush, if your keyboard has a forward slash, just click on that and you'll toggle between that A and B brush. So that's a real quick way to get around the brush tool, the different functions involved and how to adjust things a little easier than always coming over here to the panel and moving sliders around. So I hope that helps and I hope that taught you something you didn't know about the brush tool. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.